happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in mm -hmm. out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the XH Data, this is the D608WB. It's an AM, FM stereo, weather alert, shortwave, emergency radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. You can find this retailing currently for $36.29 at xhdata.com.cn. Uh, at the making of this video, it was on sale for $28.99, representing an amazing bargain for emergency radio that does quite a bit, and you get to see that in this video. I'm gonna try to demo everything. So let's take a look at the box. It comes in, pretty simple. Took everything out, and uh, yeah. So we'll pull points there. Let's get to it. So to the side, star of the show, boom. There we are, the 608WB. I have a few shorts with this thing in action. You guys may have seen it. Uh, USB to Type-C to charge the battery, which is an 18650 removable unprotected button top. I love it. And then we get a manual right here. Actually, it's D608WB. And I'm gonna bring this up. We're just gonna flip through it really fast um, so we can get through this video as quickly as we can. And uh, yeah, it's got micro printing, so I'm just gonna kinda Move it quickly, and we can always freeze frame. Go over something we miss it together later on in the comment section. Okay, it's pretty basic here. The overview display, what's displayed on the LCD? Quite a bit actually, as you can see there. Um, having shortwave full coverage is absolutely amazing. I love it. Having a removable 18650 is fantastic. There you go. And I'm gonna cover quite a bit too when we start going over the buttons and explaining how this radio works. So expect this to be a tutorial video and also a little bit of a demo and mainly uh, my likes and dislikes and the final thoughts at the end. Uh, any major band scans, I'm gonna save for other videos. Okay, just trying to do this as quickly as possible. So we have this for posterity, and we can freeze frame it hopefully. I didn't go too fast. Otherwise, I have to dig it back out and look it up for you guys. <laughs> it's easier if it's in the video. It's here for posterity for all of us to use. Cool. Of course, Bluetooth mode. It really doesn't need Bluetooth. I don't think Bluetooth is something you need an emergency radio, but this could be an everyday radio too as well. When you hear how good it sounds, yeah, you're gonna agree with me. Okay, system reset. That's good it has that. Charging function, solar hand cranking, yeah, dynamo. Those dynamos. <laughs> We're almost done with this. I'm trying to go as quick as I can here. Okay, and then the fun part, performance parameters. And as you can see there, our coverages FM band can be 64, 76, 87, or 87 and a half to 108 on FM. And it uh, corresponds, whatever band you pick up there, it'll automatically set the 9 or 10 kilohertz stepping for medium wave. Short wave is uh, full coverage, 1.7 to 29.9 megahertz. That's awesome. Uh, presets, you get a 500 total there. Cool. And the back here, you can see more information. All right, cool. We're done with the manual. Let's get to the radio. All right, let's go over dimensions. We'll do a size comparison. Let me bring this on down a little bit. Okay, so from a length here, from the front of the flashlight to the tuning knob here, uh, is six inches. We have a three inch height, and then we have a depth of one and five eighths of an inch. So not a bad radio, pretty compact. And when I say compact, wait till you see me compare it to some other radios. So let's compare it to a Sanjin MMR88. Wow, big difference there, huh? The MMR88 looks like a huge tank compared to this guy. Um, yeah, MMR88 is a great radio. It's a little bulkier. Probably won't lose it. <laughs> um, this does excel at AM and FM. It, it's, it is a champ on that, but it doesn't have shortwave. So if you like having shortwave on your emergency radio, uh, you like having this. So there's that. Okay. Of course, I always had oops, other radios. We have CC Skywave 2, 
which is AM, FM, weather alert, airband, shortwave radio. Doesn't have full coverage shortwave though, but enough. There you are, give you an idea. This is like a $100 radio versus 30. <laughs> Not bad at all. And of course you don't have those with a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves XH data emergency radios from, can you guess it? China land. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, wow. <laughs> He's Iron Man. All right, you get it. We'll sing a song. Stop singing a damn song. <laughs> All right, having fun. Okay, that's what it's about. Radios are fun, but this is actually an important radio that you'd have in the household. So let's go ahead and zoom it back down. It's a very popular radio. Everybody's excited about it. I did some shorts on it. Um, so let's get to the feature list. It's loaded. So going to the left-hand side, we've got a flashlight, three mode. You actuate it with this button here. It says Torch SOS. So let's hit this. we get three modes, low, medium, high. Very nice. And if you press and hold, um, it fires a loud siren and flashes the front red. So if you can handle loud sounds or flashing lights, turn this down or turn it off. There we go, just real quick, because that will wake up everybody in the house. <laughs> it might have, but uh, there you go. We've got a hook point here in the front for a strap. Going to the front of the radio, you can see how it's built. It's got four metal screws here, holding this thicker plastic plate to the enclosure, which I think is kind of neat. Uh, looks kind of tough looking. Yeah, pretty sharp. I mean, they got some great designers on the XH Data team. Loving it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zoom down. So, XH Data D608WB. <laughs> you saw the SOS torch function. We have a lockout button. Press and hold this. LCD is nice and clear. Love it. Has a lockout, so none of these buttons work now. So, if you're carrying it around in your pocket, you can't turn it on. Okay, cool. Press and hold that. Turn that lock feature off. Open up the uh, solar panel here. Here's our solar panel on top. It's got a little notch. Just get your nail on right there. And we have a 16 LED array. Uh, reading lamp. Now the cool thing is it doesn't turn on unless you want it on. And that's nice because the solar panel can face back of the radio uh, for charging, for keeping the battery topped off or angled, however you want to angle it, without turning the reading lamp on. But if you want that reading lamp on, you just hit the little lamp button and you have three settings as well. Having three modes is fantastic. I love it. Okay, cool. Uh, a charge light, uh, usually when you're using a dynamo, this will flash red. A microphone for uh, hands-free uh, receiving calls, if you're using the Bluetooth. Uh, as you can see with the display, it's nice amber lit up. We have a battery status when the radio's off. We have a clock, and we have alarm time. This is nice. Now, on an emergency radio, it should definitely have a clock and have an alarm. So, enough said, right? I mean, it makes sense. No power, you got a way to wake up or know what time it is. Power button turns the radio on. We'll turn it on. So SD card mode. There we go, the jam. You can pause it. Cool. This is to show you how that works. Power off, just quick press, which is nice. Um, underneath it, we have a mode button. And the mode button lets us toggle between MP3 and Bluetooth um, when that is uh, playing. And then if your radio is off, turns on the alarm or turns off the alarm setting. If you press and hold, you can set the alarm time. Band button, just as it says, changes the band. It cycles it from AM, shortwave, weather, and FM. If I press and hold this, it'll let me change the FM band plan from 64, 76, 87, 87 and a half to 108, which is nice. When you're on shortwave, um, long presses to access the meter bands. So yeah, I had to figure that out because it's not written. You can't write that on here. There's not enough room, but when you're on shortwave, you press and hold, then the meter band comes up, and you quickly turn the tuning knob, and it'll let you cycle through the meter bands. I'll try to show that to you in action. Actually, I'll do it right now. So we'll turn the radio on. We will go to the shortwave band, which is right here. We'll turn it down. So I said long press band. Okay, comes up with the meter bands. Now I'm turning the tuning knob. And as you can see, it's cycling through the different meter bands. 25 meter, 22, 19. 16, 15, oops, went the wrong way. You get the idea. So it goes quite a bit, a lot of coverage, and of course you can tune out of uh, the bands manually. So that is a cool feature to have. So 
I'm going to keep showing that as we go, uh, just so you get an idea how that works. Um, anything else in the band button? I think that was, yeah, it's something that's not intuitive. But once you play with the radio enough, you'll learn that uh, feature. Alert. Uh, when the radio is on, do it again. Say you're on shortwave, AM, FM. Uh, you press the press and hold, and it goes in the alert mode. Now it's scanning all seven channels right now, looking and searching for alert tone. If it does, it'll automatically fire a siren and go to that station. Um, turning this off, uh, see so long press off. We'll take it to the current station it was found scanning on. Right, let's see if we can stop on a different station when I turn it back. Let's turn it off again. Indiana. See now it's on. My local. Rest of tonight. Northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing nice. to 10 to 15 knots. Cloudy. Waves 3 to 5 feet subsiding. All right, to cool. To so feet. we'll go ahead and just turn this off here. But that's how that works. Now it also says display. That changes the top right corner here. If you notice it's in Fahrenheit, to get to Celsius, you change that band plan I told you about. And that band plan will change to 9 kilohertz, depending on which FM band you pick. And when you're at 9 kilohertz, that automatically shows Celsius. So that's something to know. While the radio is off, it shows alarm time or temperature. When the radio is on, it does the same. Plus, it moves local time over here. And signal strength and signal noise ratio shows up as well. So that's a handy button you'll be using quite often. Volume up and down. That's what they do. Fantastic. Uh, here we go. We got track back, track forward. Um, rewind, fast forward. For your MP3 player, Bluetooth. Um, MP3 player is pretty cool because it does remember your track position and the track you're on. So if you have a long file, you listen to an hour podcast on your MP3, uh, it'll remember if you turn the radio off exactly where you were at. So perfect. I mean, if you were 45 minutes in, it remembers exactly where you were at 45 minutes in on, say, track 100. Love it. Over here uh, on the track back, you have memory, so you can manually add memories, and you can manually manually delete memories. Remember, you have 100 on AM, 100 on FM, and 300 on shortwave. It's fantastic. Enough. It's all you really need. Over here, if you notice, you have VM and VF above the fast forward key. Uh, VM is view memory, and VF is view frequency. Now, a lot of radios have that. Uh, view memory is nice. You hold this down, show you that, turn the radio on. And can't give you rivers. Let's go to a band well, that we'll work with. Say you're on the FM band. We'll just turn this down for the sake of that. Um, I believe right now we are in frequency mode. You can change it to um, memory mode by tapping this. Up here, now our presets are flashing. So when we tune, we're tuning our presets, which you'll get to hear in a little bit. I'll hook it up. But there we are, we're tuning, tuning our presets. And of course, you can browse them too. So if I press and hold and let go, you can see it starts flashing. It's automatically going to change without me doing anything. I believe that's about a six or seven second delay. See, there you go. It's automatically changing. Of course, I don't have my antenna extended, so we're not picking up anything downstairs. And it also works with frequency. So we change to frequency mode. Let's make sure I'm on frequency mode. There we are. Uh, so if you tune up and press and browse, it'll browse up until it finds a station, stops, and then continues on as you can see with the flashing arrow. So it does have a search function. Awesome. Okay, then let's go ahead and turn that off there. We have a pause play, answer calls, and auto tuning system. So when you're on your band, you can press and hold, automatically search and store presets for you. When you're on shortwave, it does the entire shortwave band, all those meter bands. But if you only wanna do one of the meter bands, double tap instead of long press. And it'll just search that band only and save the presets, which is great. All right, going to the right hand side. We have more stuff going on. We have a output USB, um, which is five volts, one amp. Um, it does drop a bit when you're doing full load. If it's, if it's, it's pulling an amp, it's dropping about 4.8 volts. Just has a bit of a sag to it. I use it only for an emergency. Headphone jack, that headphone jack's nice. I was talking about the headphone experience. So headphone experience on this radio, uh, it has stereo, FM stereo uh, playback, which is fantastic. It has Bluetooth stereo and, of course, MP3 stereo. A uh, slight low level hiss, uh, not a big deal. Uh, expect an FM Bluetooth MP3, moderate lows, strong mids, strong highs. AM shortwave weather, expect a low neutral tone. So not bad overall. Next to it is the Type-C charge input, 5 volts, 1 amp in. And next to it is the micro SD card slot. It sticks up a little bit, which is kind of annoying with this little flimsy rubber jacket. Don't use this to protect it in the rain. Don't get this wet. This is just to kind of keep the dust out of it. But uh, yeah, it holds up to 32 gigabytes. I got a 16 in there right now. 
or a little audio demo in a moment. Tuning knob is just fast, slow, automatic. There is no way to push it in to go fast, slow, like on a radio R108. So just expect this to be like a D109, uh, which is okay. Over here, we got some frequency information that was the same as in the manual, printed right there on the radio. Solar panel, again, just to keep the battery topped off, not to really charge it. Our antenna is nice, it comes up, it's recessed, which is really handy being recessed under the radio like that. 16 and a half inches, and of course, swivel 360. But yeah, being recessed is such a smart idea. They designed this thing for pocket carry and hiking. Our dynamo, yeah, everybody likes to see this done, so. Spin the dynamo, it says charging, and it flashes the light. You get the idea. I don't like dynamos, but it's there if I need it. Got a little bass response. Uh, it does definitely, you feel it, and you can hear audio coming out of that side. And then our battery bay uh, behind it to give us a 3000 milliamp hour 18650 unprotected button top. Awesome. Now you can buy a twin pack of those for $9.99 shipped. And there you go, an extra pair of them, and you're rocking. So you're ready for most anything. <laughs> Having extra batteries is great. So let's go ahead and demo this thing. Turn it on. Let's do an audio demo. Keep it short and sweet here. We'll go mode button. We'll change it to our SD card mode. Not bad. Just for about a minute or so. So this is my friend Irma's old time radio. So yeah, you can pause, play it. 
say there's an explanation for everything. But I don't think that goes where Irma Peterson is concerned. So pause it here. You can actually uh, change the band to a radio. You can turn the radio off. You turn the radio back on. And then we can go back to our MP3 player uh, mode. And it'll start right where we left off. SD card mode. Concerned. Perfect. <laughs> Why do I say that? Well, Back a few time. minutes ago, I told Irma that in the Arctic Circle, the nights are six months long. Uh, yeah. And Irma Lapse said, time. I nice set up track number. Say, you can change it with the tuning knob or those buttons here. So there we are. So let's look up. The, we're going to do a cool uh, setup here. We're going to hook up a little wire. Uh, we're going to tune the FM shortwave and medium wave real quick. So and then we'll do final thoughts. My dislikes and likes about this radio. A lot of likes versus dislikes. Just want to give you a heads up on that. I think that's enough. Um, so this little uh, antenna is similar to the Cato T1, uh, Sanjin uh, ANT60, if you're wondering. Uh, I think I'm going to start putting links for that because I keep getting people asking me about this wire. Uh, this is just to get it to the window because I'm in a subfloor basement. Give me some reception so we can rock out. So let's change to the uh, FM band. So we're going to go right from here. We're going to hit the band button. We're going to go to our VM. We're going to go to presets. We're going to go start down at the bottom of the presets and go through them. Have some fun. Turn up the volume. Now, of course, some of these we won't hear because I did them upstairs. I cling to thee and give myself to thee and ask thee by thy compassion to watch over me in my weakness. So I can get holding the pierced there. feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring in strict ruler with an opposition party planned. In the says that Elon Musk is not entitled to a $55 billion compensation package. That God revealed to Daniel some of the most incredible... ...whether an opposition party plan to amend a law against insulting the monarchy was unconstitutional. The Move Forward party won last year's election on a platform which included revising the strict Les Majesté law, which imposes a harsh jail term for every... So, it's currently... Uh, it's uh, midnight, 12.04... Uh, AM at Central Standard Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. It has contracted for a fourth consecutive month as concerns about the health of its... Teenage boys. I'm bored. A pack of fireworks. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Make the You get an idea. Let's go to the shortwave band. Let's have fun there. Let's get to our LC frequency mode. You can go all the way down. Out of frequency, out of the meter band, which is pretty awesome. I'm going as fast as I can, see if I can get to the top of the band. So this is going to go to 177, or yeah. Usually nothing down here I've ever heard. Most of you guys have, let me know. 
And right here should go 29. There we are. So you can definitely get your CB bands if you want to. So we'll go presets. 2.5 megahertz. WWV. Opposing the layman religious elite. Right. So the, the Pharisees. It's great on locals, it's great on semi-locals, and it's good for uh, distant stations. It'll actually pick them up. Now, it does have birdie tones across the band on mine. Um, I did bring it up to them, XHJ, they do know they're aware of the problem, so maybe they'll fix it. Uh, but at night, I don't notice it as much. So let's go to the medium wave. Three to five. And we'll quickly cycle that. And we'll do final thoughts. So, presets. Here's local things need protecting over other high pitched tone you can pick up just let me um demonstrate to you the spirit of the left we don't wish to replicate them because they have yeah it's just be part of the box family you know you these border ideas Scrambles. How many of them are fluky plays? You will hear her story. According to criminal lawyer Joseph Newberger, maybe change the tone here because for a hunch, I mean, it's what you know, it's in there. It's song. Hi, I'm Dean Holland, inviting you to join me for Radio Limelight. Every She's going along with the whole fake news narrative that Republicans are bad. Maybe we should just keep that in consideration. Why is this being tolerated, right? Well, and then what became New York, New York. of any of <laughs> But slowly, very slowly, my own secret plans to expose him have borne fruit. Every day my net is drawing tighter, and he knows it, Watson. He knows the danger he's in, and that was why today he came to see me. I was playing my violin, as you know I often do when I want to think. Tesla investors who sued to challenge. Two and one kilohertz. Two. So you get the idea how to tune it. It's pretty basic. Right here in Queens, in Nashville, they have been stealing mail. So just go up real quick by manually. I ate at halftime by twenty. After three quarters, and they win it tonight here on the... Okay, and then, uh, weather band. On the Midwest, it was cloudy with a temperature of 37 at Milwaukee, 35 at Madison, Wisconsin, 37 at Moline, and 37 Pretty basic, at uh, it's above average reception. I Once found six again, stations. So you have your different ones. I'm not hooked up. 
but my local comes in. Well, metropolitan Very area. simple. Rest of tonight. Site show red alert. I'm turning this off, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much the end of the video. I forgot to mention FM reception report. Um, I based it on a five-tier method. Uh, just know that it got a good to very good score, which is a three and a half star rating. So fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. It found 70 stations, uh, and its selectivity is good. So yeah, a good three and a half star rating on this radio for FM. Uh, I forgot to mention it, but I'll probably have that back when we started the FM band scan. <laughs> thought I'd mention it real quick, but real quick, uh, final thoughts on this radio. Uh, what I like about it, it's compact, replaceable 18650, it has a clock, has an alarm, flashlight, lamp function, uh, full shortwave band, type C charging. The speaker is amazing sounding. Uh, the MP3 player is actually very handy. The dynamo is good in a pinch and the price is good at $30. Just fantastic. I didn't keep it at that price. Um, dislikes uh, this knob, tuning knob. I'm not a fan of fast, slow tuning. There's no way to just go fast or slow only by pushing it in. That'd be nice. Birdie tones on the medium wave band. I'm not a fan of those tones. Um, and this flimsy rubber cover here. I'm not a fan of that. But overall, those three things don't outweigh the awesomeness of this radio. So it definitely gets a big recommendation for me because it's one of the best uh, compact emergency radios you can get on the market for the money. Bar none. You guys know that. You can just see what this thing can do. It's amazing. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like XH Data Radios and want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified. I'll upload some more shorts. Maybe we'll do some more intensive band scans. Um, there's a lot out there on this you can find on this radio, which is fantastic. And shortwave is where it's at. It's a lot of fun. And of course, three, comment below. Are you picking up a D608WB for your household? Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.